Welcome to the Epic Hobbies for Epic Minutes. Today I'll be painting the Reaper Mousling, which I use in my Frostgrave Warband. I started by priming the model with plain white and blocking out the base with plain black. Next, I base coated the cloak and hood with a dark olive green. At first, I tried painting the cloak with a different shade of green. I wasn't really happy with it, so it becomes olive green later in the video. Next, I grab a mid-tone brown and start base coating the quiver on his back, the arrows, and his bow. As mentioned, right here I changed the color of his cloak to match his hood. To give the cloak some interesting depth, I'm painting in shadows with brown rather than a dark green. This helps the cloak look a little more warm and a little more interesting. I also use the same brown to add some shadows to the back of the hood. I then start highlighting the cloak and hood with a light tan color. So this makes, again, a little more variation in the color and makes just the whole cloak look more interesting. I grab some brown paint and paint the strap across his chest holding the quiver in place. Using a lighter brown, I start to highlight the quiver and the bow. And again, with an even lighter shade, this time I'm using the same tan I used to highlight parts of the cloak. Now I'm going to grab a mid-tone gray and start working shadows into the furry areas of the mouse. This first pass of shadows are pretty blocky. I'm going to grab a second shade of gray later and just kind of smooth them out afterwards. Basically want to focus on all the downward facing surfaces, so underneath the arms, and then areas where they're sort of up against something casting a shadow like the cloak. Here I'm making a mid-tone gray by mixing the gray I just used for the shadows with the white color I had base coated the model with. And I'm just going to work around wherever I've added a dark shadow and sort of just blend it into the white areas using this mid-tone color. Here I'm using just a little bit of pure white to make a few areas stand out a bit more. With a pale flesh tone I start to paint in the muzzle, the fingertips, and a little bit of his belly. I also use this color on the inside of his ears, but unfortunately I didn't really capture that well on film, so you won't see it till the end. With his belly, I want it to look like the fur is thin there, but not necessarily absent, so I'm going to feather it out so that it kind of blends in with the grays at the edges. Here I paint each eye with plain black and a small dot of white paint to have some light glinting off it. I then take the gray color of the fur and just refine the shape of the eye. To make the face stand out more, I accent the eyebrows and the cheeks with pure white. Here I paint the nose bright pink so it stands out from the pale flesh around it. Previously I had painted the tail grey, but I didn't really like it, so it's going to be a flesh colour here instead. Using a very light tan, I'm just adding some more highlights to the different areas of the cloak, and then using a light blue to paint the feathers on the tips of the arrows. Here I'm starting to use some washes, applying a dark blue one to the feathers, and then Agrax Earthshade to all the sort of wood areas, including the quiver and parts of the bow. I then start using the Agrax Earthshade pretty heavily around other areas to make these little stitches stand out more on the back, make the quiver strap a little more pronounced, make the fingers a little more distinct, and make the toes a little more distinct as well. Finally, I apply some Agrax Earthshade to the inside of each ear. And with that, this mouse lane is done. You can see this miniature on the table in my Magic Murder Mice Frostgrave videos. Thanks for watching, and as always, do something epic. Hey, thanks for watching my video. If you liked that one, why don't you check out some battle reports right over here, or check out more epic hobby content right over here. If you really like what I'm doing and want to support my creative efforts, I really urge you to become one of my supporters on Patreon. You can find out more about that right here. Thanks for watching.